Hello, welcome to my tutorial where I'm going to show you how to cut out this hand with a clipping mask using the pen tool. First thing we want to do is open up our layers and create a new one that we're going to make the, the path on originally and then lock the layer that the image is on just so you don't end up messing up the image in any weird way or end up grabbing it. Next we need to grab our pen tool from the toolbar. You can also hit P if you like hotkeys. Um, once you have your pen tool, just start tracing over the shape with clicking it. If you're not familiar with the pen tool, uh, just clicking creates a point and clicking and dragging creates curves. So every time you see me creating a curve, that's just clicking and dragging. If you create a curve and you don't want it to be curvy on the other end, just click on the anchor point and then it'll create a new straight path for you. Sorry, I'm trying to do this quick so you don't have to watch me tracing a hand forever. Clicking away. Really wish I painted my nails for this picture, but that's cool. <laughs> or like edited the photo in some way. <laughs> the background is super yellow. Okay, so once you've finished your path, you just kind of click on the original anchor point. It'll give you that circle, and you've finished it. And we're going to unlock layer one and drag our path down onto that layer. Select the image as well, and then go up to Object, Clipping Mask, Make, or Command 7, and that'll cut through it. The benefit of using a clicking mask is if you use the direct selection tool, which is up here, uh, you can click and move these elements that you've created and make sure that you've gotten it. If you just delete everything, you can't really do this, whereas I can go back and try and get extra points along the hands. So there you have it. That's how to cut out your hand with a pen tool and making a clipping mask. I hope you liked it.